Hi everybody, hi for windsurfer friends. We're here at the tour surf shop with uh, Rosinho. With Rosinho. And uh, so how's it going, Rosinho? Everything good, very nice to be here. Little flight from Pozo. So tell us about your trip here to Italy. What's up? Uh, it's been uh, it's been great so far. Uh, the trip was really short. Uh, I have my girlfriend here with me, so today we just went and we cruised around Verona. Ate some really nice food and uh, saw a new place that was amazing to see. And uh, now we're just at the tour shop, about to have dinner. Very good. So tomorrow we'll be sailing in Prada de la Femme for yeah. some promotion, and uh, we'll be in Torre. So you were telling me you're coming straight from Pozzo for the event coming up in 10 days, I think, right? Yeah, we were there all last week training and getting used to the strong winds. Uh, Pozzo is so special, so it's good to go there ahead and get some sailing. Very good. How's your condition? You doing good? I'm trying my best. Yeah. <laughs> I heard about a little injury you were telling me yesterday. Yes, I before the event in Santa Cruz, I, I hurt my foot a little bit in Maui. It's nothing bad, but it just I have to keep on icing it and keeping it nice so it doesn't get worse. And um, after the event, I'll probably have a little week break or something, see if I can get it better. So I guess all the other professional windsurfers were in Pozzo with you, training? Um, maybe not all of them, but a lot of them were there. Victor's there, Ricardo, Swifty, Danny Bruch, a lot of the guys. And uh, it's good because you can kind of gauge where the level is and sail together with, with those guys which are our friends and we haven't been together since a few months, so it's good to catch up. Did you see anybody particular showing off new moves or...? Uh, I didn't see any new moves, but I saw like the people, everybody doing the old moves better. I saw uh, Philip was killing it, doing some big stall doubles, so was Ricardo. And a um, lot of local kids sailing good, Omar and those guys, and uh, Joseph. And it's good to see that the level is for sure a lot higher than last year. I saw a lot of people try and push loop forwards and doubles. And it be interesting to see how the event will go. I'm sure the action will be great. Uh, there are some new um, rules about the competition. I hear uh, less athletes, right? Yeah, I think this year they, they bring the, the fleet down to 32 guys. And uh, I think that's a very that's a positive approach uh, for a few reasons. It's nice that they have 32. First thing, because of the live streaming. Uh, people can un understand better what's going on for people who don't necessarily windsurf just man on man so it's easy to see what go, what's going on there's also less people in the water so it's more waves for us less hassling and uh, it pretty much almost make the heats feel longer and apart from that it's gonna it's gonna raise the level of the events even more because it's gonna be only the top 32 guys instead of 48 or 44 that was before so I, I'm I suppose the level will be really high already from round one so it'll be good to see so is this your first time in Italy? No, I've been here two times before, but it's been a long time ago. So. Have you ever sailed on the lake? Never. Never? No. Are you looking forward to it? Yeah, I've heard a lot about it and it's a pretty traditional place. and It's been so much history on the, on, on the lake and it would be nice to catch a session with all the local guys. And Do some freestyle? It. Yeah, take it easy. I haven't done that in a long time, but it would be good to get on the water for sure. We wish you the best luck for the event. And uh, just do your best, man. Thank you, yeah, I'll try as hard as I can. Thank you very much. Thank you.